people, it's Dr. Bacon. I hope everyone's having a great day. It's $8 dinners in Casa Bacon. <laughs> and we're gonna make some, uh, we're gonna make some red meat eggs. So I grew up in Dutch, Pennsylvania, Dutch country in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And this was something my father served at his restaurant and something that's really kind of fun to make. And I actually grew some beets in my yard here in California. And so we're gonna make these beets and a couple eggs into red beet eggs. So the first thing we're gonna do is cook the beets and the eggs. Hard boil the eggs, so those are gonna go in water. We're just gonna fill this saucepan up, cover the eggs with water, bring it to a boil, let them set for 15 minutes, then run them under cold water for a minute and that will make them peel really easily. That's one thing we're gonna do. Simultaneously, we're gonna clean these up a little bit and we're gonna steam them in our pressure cooker. And if you have a pressure cooker, I would just say follow the instructions to pressure cook your beets. Or most people just use pickled beets from a can. Um, because we have the technology and fresh beets, we're gonna do the beet thing. When you do do the beets, if you pressure cook them, save the water because you need beet juice as part of the recipe. If you use canned beets, save the juice. Don't pour it out because it's part of the recipe. All right, so here we go. Okay, we checked the manual. These are gonna take about 12 minutes once it gets up to pressure in the pressure cooker. Beet um, leaves are super tasty. They, if you like spinach, they're more delicious than spinach, if you like spinach. Um, you just steam them like spinach. They're very, rather bitter until you, you really have to steam them. Steam them hard. All right, so this is gonna go on. Our eggs are in here. We went with five eggs. We're waiting for it to boil. We broke an egg in process. Okay, next thing, you want a cup of sugar. You can put it in a saucepan. You want three quarters of a cup of cider vinegar. And then if you have bay leaves, you want a couple bay leaves. I don't know if we have any bay leaves. I kind of doubt it. Let's look around. I'm not gonna find any bay leaves. Bay, no, that's no good. All right, if you have bay leaves, put some bay leaves in there. The other thing that would help is if you have cloves, put like 10 cloves in there. I don't have either, so no bay leaves or cloves for this recipe. We just don't have it. But those are, those are good to add. Then the last thing you're gonna do is put a cup of the juice, of your juice um, that was in your can. We're gonna use the juice from our pressure cooker. But use that, ju that juice you set aside from your can. So we're gonna put our beets in with our eggs. We added our vinegar, we, now we need our beet juice. And then if we had cloves, we'd add those. If we had, oh, and then we want to add some salt too. You want about half of a, you want about half of a teaspoon of salt. So like, yay, that in there. And then we're gonna bring this to a boil. And then let it, and then we let it simmer for five minutes. 
Okay, we'll bring that down to a simmer. It's a pretty good looking simmer. We literally forgot to uh, peel our beets, so we, we went ahead and <laughs> we peeled our beets. Kind of forgot about that. So this is plenty to make uh, eight eggs. We made five and then we messed up one of our eggs peeling it, so it's gonna make four. We're gonna make four. Then that's the last thing you do. You just, then we put a little pepper in there too. Um, and then you put this in the uh, refrigerator for about, smells very vinegary right now. Um, you put that in there in the refrigerator for about two days. And I'll turn my eggs a couple times. Since they're not fully submerged, um, I would like them to be kind of uniform red, so I'll probably roll them over a few times. But that's the recipe. Hey guys, that's our episode. Like and subscribe if this makes you happy. Tell your friends you love them. Check out our other recipes if they interest you. Red beet eggs, Amish country style. Talk to you soon. Bye.